I've worked with Camille for the last eight years. I first met her in 2006 when she volunteered to help me when I was running to be the leader of the Green Party of Canada. I was so proud to watch Camille go through law school with just one victory after another. And we have an antidote to voter apathy. We have a cure for indifference. And in Trinity Spadina, her name is Camille Labchuk. The question I'm being asked is, why are you running for Parliament? My answer is I'm running for Parliament because I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid because we've now had three years of a Harper Conservative majority government, and before that we had five years of a minority. And those eight years have reshaped our country in ways that I don't think many of us ever imagined possible. So the question is, who is holding this government to account in Parliament? Only the Green Party has the political courage to treat climate change not like a political football, but a real issue. And Elizabeth May has shown us that even one single Green MP in Parliament has uh, drastically changed the parliamentary climate. I'm going to ask them to elect an MP who's not controlled by party backroomers. What I want and what the Green Party wants is simply good ideas. No party has a monopoly on good ideas, and that includes the Green Party. We believe in working together. I'm tired of politicians giving politics a bad name. We need to rescue democracy from the hyper-partisan spin that's overtaken it. The spin that makes voters throw up their hands and say, that's enough for me, don't vote, it only encourages them. We deserve MPs that make us proud of how we voted on election day. I promise you that I'll work with others to build a shared understanding and a political consensus. We can end the hyper-partisan sniping and we can move forward together. I'm running in this election because I want to join Elizabeth May and Bruce Heyer and make the environment a top of mind issue again in Parliament. The green voice is clear. We say no to pipelines. We say no to unchecked bitumen sands expansion. We say yes to a climate policy that avoids the most devastating consequences of climate change. We say yes to a low carbon future and to green jobs and to a new green economy. Thank you.